Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Everyday EDC. My name is Tyler and today we have something that you have probably never seen before. Why? Because I accidentally bought this thing right underneath here. Bought it for the wife. Got to preface all this with that because it looks like that. <laughs> this thing is unique. This, for those of us not in the know, is called a Spyderco Squeak. Not a dragonfly, not a warlock, wasp, bug, whatever. No. Squeak. This is a slip joint. And it, oh, what's the, where's the blade steel? I don't even know the freaking blade steel on this. Oh, N690. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I didn't realize this was N690. That kind of makes it a little bit better. So, M N690 kind of being the smaller brother to the M M390. Am I getting jacked up? I might be getting that jacked up. I might have to correct this. But, so this thing's a very small knife. I purchased it for my wife as her first real knife when I stopped buying stupid freaking knives. And I want, I was like, I'm going to get you a Spyderco. She's like, oh, Spyderco. Everybody says that's the best knife that I talk to about knives. And I think she just Googled that before we talked because, you know, she's trying to be the sweet lady that she is and entertain me. But, very small little guy, cool, cool, true to form leaf-shaped blade. Absolutely true to form. This is a slip joint. Now, if those of us who are in the modern knife world and kind of brought up in the modern knife world, just like a kid who's really good at computers, you know, and the old person who loves fixed blades but he doesn't know how to use a freaking computer. Weird analogy, but kind of get what I'm saying. So, most of us are used to something like this, Right? You know, we got we got the liner lock, the compression lock, whatever, thumb stud, spidey hole, we can flick it. We're not used to slip joints, especially a slip joint the size of my thumb. Actually, this is about the size of my big toe, which I'm not going to pull out, but imagine big toe. Get the point? Now, I will say, this is extra fun to kind of roll out like that. There's something about a slip joint that's tight that it is, it's not fidgety, but it's just like... That feels good. Now, I wish it was better on the way back. Because I used to, when I was playing with it in the beginning, when I first got it for her, she's had it for like four months now, I was able to close it with one hand, but it's scary as shit because this thing's sharpish. Crap. And I, I, yeah. Anyways, has a wire pocket clip, which is deep carry. Very nice. Has the uh, ambidextrous, which, yep. There's screws on this side, torque screws of these T8. What? This thing has three screws. Kudos to Spyderco. Look at that. This thing's freaking T8. That's awesome. So very easy to flip-flop. The Spyderco Squeak. Let's get you guys some specs on this little bastard. Squeak. Squeak, squeak. Squeakity, squeak. Squeak, squeak. You guys ever seen Emperor's New Groove? As an adult, watch it. Absolutely hilarious. Squeak, squeak. We're squeaking. All right. So the overall weight on this guy is coming in at 1.6 ounces. Now, I believe that beats the bug out, but I do not believe that beats the mini bug out, but I am not 100% sure. So that, put that into perspective. This guy's a tiny little bastard. Once again, using that, and I'm going to stop saying the same things over and over in my freaking reviews. So it's coming in at just shy of five and a quarter inch with a blade length of about two inches and an overall cutting edge of about one and three quarters. Let's check the blade stock. The blade stock on this guy is coming in at 110,000, so it's starting off pretty thin. With this leaf-shaped blade, I would not be surprised if this thing is ultra freaking slicey. Coming in at about 15,000. So this is Civivi territory with that hollow grind that they've been doing. I don't know how long the squeak's been out, but like I said, I accidentally purchased it. And as you go up the blade, obviously, it gets a little bit thicker, which is fine. So the overall width on this knife, coming in at a whopping 0.35 inches, or 365 thousandths, and the overall height on this guy. It snaps shut. This thing's super snappy. That's why I'm scared to close it with one hand. Freaking rip off my finger. You guys saw how slicey it is. Coming in at a height of 1.4 inches. Uh, to put that into perspective, the Spyderco Manix 2 is coming in at 1.74, and the Spyderco PM2 overall height is coming in at 1.6. So, well, I'll show you guys some comparisons next, and you can kind of uh, see really relatively how large this knife actually isn't. 
I'm going to keep most of the, actually I'll bring out one large. There you go. That's how small, or that's how large the spider's go squeak is not. Boom. There is the Rat Model 1 and the Rat Model 2. So from here on out, I will, actually I'll do both spider coats too, so you guys can really see it because the family. Here is the PM3. Here is the PM2. All right. Do I need to say anymore? All right. And last but not least, I'll bring out the small Feldspar and the Sabibi Odium. Here is the small Feldspar or the mini Feldspar and the Sabibi Odium. Bet you guys never thought I would show a knife on my channel where the Sabibi Odium absolutely dwarfs that knife. Absolutely dwarfs. This thing's just ridiculously small. The wife loves it. She says she loves it. She says she uses it all the time, but the blade looks pretty darn clean to me. I think she's just uh, humoring me. Whatever. So my overall thoughts on this knife. I Actually, I think these are FRN scales, even though they kind of feel a little rubbery. They... Eh. I gotta look this up. The, I think these are FRN, though. I'm pretty sure these are FRN scales. Again, with the N690 blade, N690's not much to scoff at. It's all right. We have this full, as in a typical slip joint, full backspacer here. There is the interesting part. Let me show you guys the inside of this. Where is Jake's freaking... There it is. There ain't no liners in me. There's no liners in this. It's all the FRN or G10 or whatever the hell this is. Uh, the leaf-shaped blade on something this small is kind of cool. It literally looks like a leaf that you pull out of your garden. Just side note. Uh, not much writing on the blade. The Salglesser, it's made in Italy. This is one of those, obviously, with the slip joint, probably going to be made in Italy. We got the Spyderco logo and, you know, the blade steel. Awesome point, these three screws. If you really wanted to maintain this thing, there you go. You got three freaking screws, and guess what? They're all T8. How awesome is that? Despite the fact that it's 1.3 quarter inch blade, I feel like I'm, never mind. But see the ergonomics on this guy. Actually, <laughs> this is the first time that I actually held this thing like this. I've used it before, but I'm choked up. And oh my gosh, this is pretty nice. The ergos on this are pretty sweet. So, all right, all right. Not mad at that. The opening, like I said, that's really satisfying to do. It's not fidgety. Because it's a slip joint. It's real tight. But to roll it out like that, the click, click, ah, feels good. That's where it's about halfway. It's almost 90 degrees right there. Come on down. Again, ambidextrous deep carry wire clip. Pretty sweet. How much did I purchase this for? This knife was going for, I believe, $60, probably on Blade HQ when I purchased it. I don't remember. But is it worth it? Well, for the N690... For the slip joint from Italy, the uniqueness that this provides, and realistically, the ergonomic beast mode that this thing has for being so tiny. If this is what you're looking for, you need that slip joint for some reason to be sub two inches. Ah, you found it, because this thing's awesome uh, for, for that. I, it's not my choice, but for the niche that it fills, it is pretty freaking sweet. So... I'm not going to kind of go on and on. This was almost a show and tell of this. I stole this from her. She doesn't, she doesn't know that I'm doing a review on it. But it's it's super slicey. Fits anywhere. I mean, anywhere. Eh? Eh? And, uh, yeah. The Spyderco Squeak. A plus for ergonomics for this tiny of a knife. The slip joint factor, if you're into slip joints, pretty fun. Awesome deep carry. Very light. I think, I think they hit a home run for the league that they're playing in here. Uh, for the European league mainly, probably. It's probably mostly a European style knife because slip joint, uh, the tiny blade factor that's on there. But uh, they did hit a home run with this for those points. So that's all I got for you guys today. My name is Tyler. This has been Everyday EDC. Stay sharp. Stay safe. Stay pink. Have a great freaking day.